Abba, we come to you in this night. And Father, we thank you that we can lift up the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that in this night, we can once again make Jesus Christ famous. Lord, I pray, Lord, that in this night, Father, I hear a cry out of your heart. Lord, that suddenly, quickly, Lord, that you want to take people from the backside of a moment to a gloriful, victorious place, but in a moment. Father, I have it in my heart that in this night, Lord, that you want to release something into this atmosphere unto us as a people. That you have said unto us, Lord, that, Lord, we might be those that the world will count as foolish and unwise and base, but in the eyes of God, we are the chosen ones. And Father, I pray that a faith will arise in my people in this night that say, Lord, even though, Lord, even though it might be late, but it's never too late for our God. And Father, I pray in this night, I feel something in my spirit that you are saying to me, Father, that you have counted us in. You have worked us into this plan and this destiny and this purpose that you have for our lives, Lord. And no man and no devil and no spirit will stop us from the purpose and the plan and the assignment of God over our lives. We shall fulfill that what He has planned for us. And Father, I pray that the tenacity will come into our hearts in this night. And we will look to our left and we will look to our right and we will look to our backsides and look to our front and the say, though a thousand may fall on my left and ten thousand may fall unto my right, it shall not draw near unto me. That we can say like King David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Lord, He protects me for everything. He leads me into quiet, still waters, Lord. In all my ways, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thy rod and thy staff that comforts me. Lord, your word is a delight unto me, I pray in this night. And Lord, I pray for encounter my people this evening. And we will know that the word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet and a guide unto our path. We can lay down and see how the Lord makes a table for us in the midst of our enemies. It will not draw near to us. It will not touch us. For we are the beloved. We are the highly favored. We are the anointed. And we are the chosen ones by God. We have been called for a time such as this. And Father, we will see how you will rise up for us as a people. We will see our God raise up a banner for our God is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah El Shaddai, the one that provides, the one that makes a way where there seems to be no way, one that calls a desert a fruitful place and a fruitful place for us, one that looks to the dead and calls them to be alive, one that says I am the beginning and I am the end, one that calls himself the Alpha and the Omega, one that says come up here and move where I move from. Father, I pray with all of my heart and all of my might that we will understand in this night, Lord, it does not matter what Satan does, all things work together for those that love the Lord. And we can say boldly, if God is for me, who can stand against me? If heaven is for me, it doesn't matter who's against me. If God has voted me in, who are you, you uncircumcised Philistine, to rise up your tongue against me? For I am the anointed of God. I am blessed. I am redeemed. I am loved by a God that 
doesn't walk out, a God that doesn't walk away, a God that says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. For in this night I prophesy unto my people, we will see the enemy scattered. We will see him come in one way and flee seven ways. For we are the ones that he has chosen. We will be called the anointed of God. We will be called the blessed of God. We will be called the highly favored of God. And even the plans of our enemies will fall in front of our Lord. For we are highly loved by him. And it doesn't matter for greater is he that dwells within me than he that is within the world and in this night as a man of God as a prophet I prophesy Lord that every person looking at me now Lord every person by live stream every person here tonight that in this night we move to a high place we move to a new place in this night a change I announce a new day I announce a new day a new day says the Lord a new day 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 I have changed the time around for you in this night oh come on And what has taken them a year will take you a month. And what has taken them a month will take you a week. And what has taken them a week will take you a day. And I will accelerate time for you. For I am with you. I go in front of you. And I make a way for you where there seems to be no way. I will make a way. I will make a way. And no man, no no spirit will stop that what I purpose for you says the Lord of hosts in this night in Jesus name oh come on church give Jesus a praise oh come on oh give him a shout Give him one more praise offering. One more praise offering. Oh, we worship you, Abba. Lord, I announce a seasonal change. I announce in this night, Lord, you say in your word, Lord, that seasons and times is within your hand. And Father, I speak over my people in this night. And I speak over every person listening that there is a change that has occurred. Yes. There's a moment that has shifted now. For our mourning has gone over into rejoicing. Our waiting has gone over to expectation. Our place where we have waited, we will suddenly see. Suddenly. Father, I speak over every person here in this night and suddenly there will be a release and suddenly there will be new peace and suddenly there will be new joy and suddenly you will have new hope and suddenly there will come finances and suddenly you will be promoted for i tell you the truth says the lord for you that have come and feared my name for you i go in front of you i make a way for you and no man will shut this way for i see the sun rising up and i announce a new day over your life a new day full of hope full of prosperity full of joy full of freedom full of love full of passion full of rest oh wait upon me says god for i am doing something new I am doing something new. Will you perceive it? Will you know it in this time? I am doing something new, says the Lord 
and it shall be so in your life, even from this night. In Jesus' name we pray. And if you agree with that prophetic word, say amen and amen and amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's make him famous. Make him famous. Make him famous. Oh, will not you just leave your stand? will not you just raise your hands? will not you raise your hands for him? He's here. Oh, we lift you up, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Holy Spirit, flood this place. Oh, coming like a rushing wind. Coming like a wind rush this place. Fill every life. Touch every heart. Oh, that every single one will know that I hear tonight that the Lord is doing something new. Oh, flood this place, Holy Spirit. Fill this place. For this place, the atmosphere of heaven. For this place, let's wait upon him. Let's wait upon him. Let's wait upon him. Come if you as hungry as Mariah. Raise your hands, raise your hands there. He's here. He's here. Oh, he's here. new day Thank you, Jesus. A new day. A new day. 
a new day. A new day has come. I see people that are ill. I see people that are ill. If you are ill here tonight, touch. Just touch your body with your one hand. And if you have a place that is ill, touch that place. Because even as I speak, it will heal you at your seat. For there's a new day. Oh, just receive this word. Father, I speak over every person that has any illness, any sickness in this place, in this night. I declare the word of the Lord over your life. Father, I speak to every person that watches me by live stream. I declare a new day in their bodies from this day forward in Jesus' name. Father, I call to an end. Oh, believe it. I call to an end to the cycle. I call to an end the season. It has stopped in this night, in this moment, at the sound of my voice. It has stopped in this night, right now, in Jesus' name. And Father, I release the healing power of Jesus Christ into these bodies. All of these bodies, I release it right now in Jesus' name. And you will see a change in the next couple of hours, even from right now. You will see a change happening. And where there's been problems in the organs, suddenly it will be gone. Where there's been pain in the bones, suddenly it will be disappeared. Where there's been pain in the muscles, oh, this is a word for somebody. Where there's been pain in the muscles, it will disappear. I see sinew problems. There where there's sinew problems, it will suddenly function as normal. And the impulses will function. I see trouble of impulses. I hear the Lord say, tell you, I must tell you, it will suddenly function normal. I see problems with veins and blood flow. I hear the Lord say, if you believe me in this night, I give you brand new, brand new operation in your whole body. These, these veins will function normally like they should, like they are designed to do. I do something new. I do something new. I do something new. In Jesus' name. Profess with me, say, Jesus, I receive your full healing over my whole body, body, soul, and mind, spirit, soul, and body, in Jesus' name. In this night, oh, you must say it by faith, in this night, I take it by faith, I announce a new day, a new day. There's people here, listen to me. The Lord is still speaking to me. There's people here, you have family members that are sick. I hear him say, the promise to you is for your family too. It's not just for you. He, include, he includes your family. So Father, I pray for everybody here. I include all. If that's you, you need to throw your hands in the air. Lord, I include all the families presented here. And as a man of God, Lord, in this night, I announce an end to a season. And I announce a new day of health to flood these families. Oh, Satan, be quiet for the Lord has announced a new day over everyone that is here. And your family is included. Even as you leave this place in this night, you will hear the testimonies how God has healed on the most unexpected places, the most unusual places, the most weirdest places that you have thought you could never go. Suddenly, even you that are sitting here, you have already messages on your phones of people saying, the Lord has restored me. Something has happened. Oh, receive that tonight. A new day. Oh, church is doing something.
If you're here tonight and you say, Lord, I need a new day, throw your hands, put your hands for me in the air. Come on. I don't know about you, but I need to announce this word to you. With the word of the King is there's freedom. Every person watching me by live stream, I include all of them. Lord, in this night, as a children of God, as your kids, we receive over our lives that we receive a new day. For I declare peace to you. I declare joy to you. It's a new day. I see finances rolling in that was restrained. I see prosperity flooding in where it was held back. I see promotion coming in suddenly like a flood. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Oh, say that to yourself. It's a new day. It's a new day. In Jesus' name. It's a new day. Oh, come on, let's give him some praise. Oh, come on, let's give him some praise. Let's give him some praise. Let's give him some praise. I don't want you to sit. Can you stand for like two minutes more? As I was standing, the word of the Lord came to me, 1 Samuel 17. Guys, can you quickly go there? 1 Samuel 16, verses 11. I'm sorry, I'm off my topic, but I... I don't really apologize. I'm just doing that to be polite. But 1 Samuel 16, verses 11, I heard him say this to me while I was standing there. He said to me this, And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? And then he said, There remains yet the youngest, and he is keeping the sheep. The Lord is saying to me, this is the world, yeah, this is a picture for us in this night. That God has sent a messenger. And what the world has overlooked, God has not overlooked. And God says to you tonight, He asks, wherever you are, He asks the world system, He asks your family, he says, isn't there one more? And the answer comes, yes, there is. You are the one. Oh, you need to understand that you are the one. That's what he said to me. He said he skipped seven. For he waited for the one. He will leave the 99 to go for the one. He will sweep the house and make a party for one coin. And so the great shepherd is saying to me, I need to say to you tonight, you are the one. You are the one he's been looking for. People might have overlooked you. Circumstances might have overlooked you. Life has maybe overlooked you. But he came looking for you. Oh, Jesus, he came looking for you. And he says for me to say to you, you are the one. And in this night, I'm going to anoint you. In this night, I'm going to anoint you. In this night, I'm going to anoint you with a new fresh oil. And no man can stop me. If I will cho I've chosen you. Oh, receive the word of the Lord. And Samuel said, the verse goes on, verse 12, but we just need to stand. And Samuel said to Jesse, you'll understand now why you're standing. And Samuel said to Jesse, send him, send and bring him. For we will not sit down till he comes. And the Bible says they, they stood until David came. I hear the Lord say, this is prophetic tonight, that what is what might have seemed like an, a looking over has not been a looking over. It's been God waiting for you to appear. 
He's been waiting for you to come onto the scene. And now the following will happen. Everything that is around you will stand in honor for you. You never knew that when you walked from that parking lot into this building tonight, that that will be the last time you walk like you walked. You could have never imagined. You could have never imagined dragging yourself here, coming here tonight. You could have never imagined that God will meet with you in this place. But I'm here on good authority as a representative of the Almighty to tell you the way you walk from your car into this church in this night is the last time you're going to walk like that. When you leave this place this night, you're going to walk differently. Oh, receive that. For he's pouring out fresh oil. He's pouring out fresh oil. Receive his fresh oil. I hear him say, I'll put you in places of promises, prominence you've never thought about. I've already anointed you and I've already chosen you. And it might have seemed like a delay, but it is not a delay. It might have seemed late, but it's not late. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But in this night, I want you to know, I will make everything wait for you. You are the chosen ones. And it's a new day. Oh, David never knew when he walked. David never knew when he walked that walk from his house, from the sheep to the house, it will be the last time he walks as a servant. The next time he will walk, he will walk as the anointed one. When you came here tonight, you could have never imagined that it will be the last time you walk that way. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ, as your spirit is tangible here, that you start to anoint every person that is here from my right to my left. And, Father, that every person that is here will receive the fresh, holy anointing of God. And this anointing will set you apart this anointing will make you highly favored. This anointing will set you apart for greater purpose. This anointing will set you apart for promotion. This anointing will set you apart that you will know from this night as you walk, that you walk differently. Servant no longer, kings and priests unto God, Revelations 1.5. In this night, everything changes. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. I want to encourage you, those people that are watching me by live stream, and you that are here, respond to the Lord. He is saying to you, it's a new day. He's here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> Abba, increase in this night. Increase on every life. Verse 13 says, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. I have a word for you that in your new day tonight, that God is anointing you in the midst of those that troubled you. Oh, you need to take that. God is lifting you up. Sickness might have troubled you. He's lifting you higher. Finances might have troubled you. He's lifting you above. People might have troubled you. He's going to anoint you right in their very faces in this night. Won't you just surrender to him? Would you lift your hands? Receive the new 
oil. It's a new day. I prophesy to you that there will be new business contracts flooding in. I see them running in on you. I declare to you in this night that there will be new health flooding your bones. I declare to you in this night that you will move from being low to going high in a mo moment of God. Yes, Lord. There's many of you here. You have sown and you have sown in many ways. I hear him say, it's a new day. For one man sows, another man waters, but God brings the increase. Now people here tonight, you need to receive what I'm saying. He's saying to you, I bring increase to you. I see people here tonight. I need to just minister to you as he throws it to me. He says, receive me tonight. I make all the valleys low. I'll make all the mountaintops low for you. Oh, drink him in. Let's just drink him in. Drink him in. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. A new day. A new day. A new day, a new day, a new day. Barbiandro Shukandrish Nahali Andro Borabiandro Bokush Terebiandre Borabakarabakaribiandro Bokush Terabakarabakarabiandro Bokush Tere Borabiandro Bokor Abakit Rebekish Terebiandra Yerean Rubian Ruboyandro And he gives you a new psalm in this night. And he says to you, Psalm 27 will be your banner. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
when the wicked comes against me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me in this one thing. I will be confident. For one thing I have desired, oh, make that your heart song tonight. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek and I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. For in a time of trouble, He shall hide me in His pavilion. In the secret place of His tabernacle, He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And here is the promise to you tonight, verse 6. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. For I have said, and this is, this is what we say tonight, for Lord, we have said, your face, Lord, I will seek. Your face is what we want. Listen to me, daughters and sons of God. Now wait on the Lord and be of good courage, for He has strengthened you. And Father, I put my mouth of the prophet Isaiah tonight. We that wait upon the Lord our God shall run and not grow weary, shall walk and not faint. For even young men stumble and fall, but those that wait upon the Lord shall be renewed and will shall rise up high above. And in this night, Father, I speak of all of us, myself included, every single one of us that are here, we rise high above all the onslaughts and all the attempts. For we are, we are the anointed of God. And it's a brand new day. In Jesus' name. Oh, come on, let's give him praise. Let's give him offer. Oh, come on, let's come on, let's give him praise just one more time. I want you to, before I end this, can you feel the Lord Holy Spirit? He's everywhere. He's, he's saturating this place. Why don't you grab a neighbor? Just grab a neighbor's hand. Grab a neighbor's hand. And I want us to seal this tonight. The Bible says we two or more agree. It's done. It's done. I'm with you. You with me. That makes it complete. The person to your left or your right, they're agreeing with you. This makes it complete. Come on, do I have faith in this house and this night? Father, as a mouthpiece in this night, I declare of every person here, I include their families. I declare the word of the Lord. It is a new day. The old has passed. The new has come. Lord, I swipe away, according to your word, Colossians 2, I wipe away whatever was the handwriting that was against, whatever was the deficit, whatever was the lack, whatever was the held back in this night. 
we wipe you away. You have lost your strength in this moment. And we all declare in this night, it's a new day. 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 I want you, as you stand there, if you're with somebody in agreement with you, and I'm in agreement with you, I want you to see that in your spiritual eyes. I want, to, I want you to see, see that healthy body. See that prosperity flooding in. See that business accounts running over. See peace into your family. See joy unto your children. See restoration for your family. See restoration of your marriage. See it. For as you imagine it, so it shall be in this night. In Jesus' name. Declare with me in this night. Say, Abba, I decree with your decree. It's a new day. All things. All things, all things have become new in this moment. Old enemies have fallen away. Old onslaughts have disappeared. Old ailments have, di have disappeared. Old things have pa passed away. Right now, new things is appearing all around me, in my body, in my mind, in my finances, in my heart. New things all around me. According to your word, behold, you are doing something new in my life, in this night. In Jesus' name. Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, come on. Let's just, let's celebrate Jesus. Come on. Let's just celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. I hear him giving you another promise. Oh, can you feel him? He's everywhere. How do you stop a service like this? I don't know. Jeremiah 33.3. You that are here tonight, I hear him say, Thus says the Lord, who made it everything, the Lord who formed it and to establish it. He says to me, You have called to me. And he says, Now I will answer you. Oh, you, you need to catch what he says. He says, You have called to me. And now I answer you. And I will show you. Oh, I will show you great and, and mighty things. I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Oh, take it with me, church. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Receive it to yourself. Say, Lord, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do, but I know that I know that you are going to do something. Oh, I don't know how you're going to heal me, but I know that you are going to heal me, Lord. I don't know that I know, but I do know that you are going to. 
Come on, church, let faith arise. Let faith arise. Let faith arise. Let faith arise. We do not know. We do not know, but we know. We do not know, but we do know. Father, I pray in this night, we don't know, but we know. We don't know, but we know. Oh, receive it with me, church. Come on, we don't know, but we know. And in this we put our confidence. In this we put our confidence, Hebrews. In this we put our confidence. In this we put our confidence. Hebrews. B part 11.1. One. The evidence of all things that we count as true is things that we have not yet seen but we believe them to be true. Oh, come on. You haven't seen the Lord, yet you believe Him to be true. I want you there where you stand in this next minute or so. I'm going to try to close, but in this next, I want you there where you stand with your eyes. I want to almost say wide open. And see that what you've been trusting for. What is it? What is it? I see, I, I hear the Lord say, I see the Lord sitting behind. I see a vision. I see the Lord sitting behind a desk. I see him awaiting what you request. Make sure you ask right. What is it that you want? He asks. Church, this is the holy moment. What? What is it that you want? Do you, need, do you need a new body I hear? What do you need? I, I give it to you. What do you need? I write it out to you. Is it fear that needs to disappear? What is it? Think carefully. Think carefully. Think carefully of him tonight. What is it that you need? I'm going to give you a couple more seconds. What it is it that you need? What is this new thing that you've been desiring for? You haven't seen it. I hear him say, it shall be so. I'm going to put my faith of your faith now. Hebrews 11.3 says the following. I'm going to put my faith of your faith. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Hebrews 11.3 says, So the things which are not seen were not made of the things which are visible. By, fa by faith, the full scripture says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And so in this night, that what you don't see, or what you see and not see yet, if you're physicalized, that is what is true. That what you see but not yet see, that is the thing that's true. Is it a new body you need? It is true. Is it new business deals? It is true. Is it refreshing in your marriage? It is to be true. Is it joy? It is to be true. I hear him say, tell them, it's a new day. So I'm going to pray if you put your, put every mustard, even if it's a little bit, it's enough. 
We just need mustard seeds. We don't need mountains. And a mustard seed is not an effort. A mustard seed is just love. Just love Him. It's simple. So Abba, I pray with every person here. I pray with every person watching me by live stream. I announce as one that you've called, I announce Lord, you say in your word, you do nothing unless you reveal it unto the prophets. Lord, I say over every person here, I announce a new day. A day of unprecedented prosperity. A day of unprecedented favor. A day of kindness and peace and rest. A day of acceleration. A day where old enemies have fallen away. And valleys has been made low. In this night, there is a new day. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I'm the beginning and I'm the end. What I've started, I will finish. What I've promised you, he says, what I've promised you, I will fulfill. I will fulfill in your life. You will not miss it. I will not pass you by. I will not miss you. If I have chosen you, if I have waited for you. And even though, like of David, they've missed seven, I never missed the one. And so I say to you in this night, you are the one. And I've waited for you. Now I give to you that what is due to you. A new day. In Jesus' name. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that tonight. Receive that tonight. you take the keys off in just a little bit. Are you receiving what I'm receiving? Would you make this proclamation with me tonight? Say with me, Lord, I thank you that in this moment, right now, all things have become new. Thank you, Jesus, that it's not a case of making old things new things. But right now, you are giving birth to brand new things that I haven't known about. In Jesus' name. 